refrigerator has turned the tables. He has won the Bring the Stakes. That was last year. Exaggerator is now retired, out to stud. But what about the horses that don't win, stop winning? For them, the future is not so bright. About 130,000 go to slaughter every year, and we estimate that about 10% or 13,000 are thoroughbreds. 13,000 thoroughbreds slaughtered. As Eyewitness News investigated horses sold for slaughter are shipped to Canada or Mexico, killed in ways too disturbing to show. Their meat shipped to Europe. That was where these two beauties were headed when Bev Strauss found them. And Maryland has such a rich history of horses and farms and horsemen, and I just don't think that people realized where these horses were going when they were done racing. So Bev founded Cecil County's Mid-Atlantic Horse Farm. She goes to auction, finds the thoroughbreds, and outbids so-called kill buyers. That's where she found Arrive. Originally sold for 200000 as a two-year-old, he made money. And Arrive is last to arrive at the top. But after his final race, he disappeared until Bev spotted him at auction, emaciated, headed for slaughter. His lip tattoo confirmed his identity. So really luck. Or, yes. Or he'd be dead. Absolutely. He's put on probably three or 400 pounds since we've had him. We'll let him put a little more weight on before we start training him, training. retraining him for riding. Patty is riding Arcani. Arcani won $70,000 in his racing career. A couple of months here at Mid-Atlantic, couple of minor surgeries. He's now ready to be somebody's pet. Mid-Atlantic has about 35 horses at any one time with thousands facing death. This is just a start, but Bev is hopeful. Everybody in the, in the industry is working together now to solve the problem and we're making huge strides.